Hello and welcome. I'm back with my PT2 element here. I'm sitting like this because I want that this is not disturbed. But I, the, the, the longer I sit and hold my hand like this, the more <laughs> it's jittery. This swingy little thingy here. Because I wanted to show you what is the impulse response of such a thing. Yeah. So I make a short impulse. So I want to, to move my hand and then get it back. So a little, yeah, yeah. And then we see what this thing is doing. Right now it's, for me, this is still now. <laughs> okay. So let's, let's have a look. You see, I made an impulse, this started to move, all right, and then when I go back, this was still a little bit swinging. Yeah? This is the typical behavior of a PT2 element, all right. So, let's see what is the impulse response of a PT2 element, how we can identify this, all right. So here, uh, I have already prepared a little bit something. So what actually, what is done is that at some point in time, the input is zero and then at some point in time, book, we make a big impulse, okay, bigger impulse, and then it's zero again, should be zero. <laughs> what is our PT2 element doing? Here. This was the step response. And of course, in step responses, uh, we had different damping factors, okay? And we said, okay, in, with damping factor zero, uh, permanent swing. Uh, with damping factor one, we have this aperiodic thing, what we have seen here, yeah? Uh, it was swinging, yeah? Uh, so we should be below 0.7, because then it's a damped swing, and between, between 0.7 and 1, we had only overswing, yeah? And so, it was swinging quite a while, so we are below 0.7. So actually, what we observed here, yeah, is something like that, that we went up here, yeah? went up here, go down, And the swinging was getting less. Okay. If we would have damping zero, then we would go up here, huh? go down at exactly the same amplitude. And we would have again undamped swinging. Okay, so this here is d equals zero. Again, permanent swing. Yeah? What if we are, uh, let's say, at here make this fat, I will also make this fat, 0 0.7. We will go up, yeah? go up. Go down once, and then we will stay. Okay. This is again 0 0.7, something like that. So this is damping 0 0.4, around 0 0.4. This is damping 0 0.7, yeah? and damping 1 means we go up, go back, and that's it. No underswing. Yeah? And if we are above 1, yeah, then this is just going slower. damping greater than one. All right. So this is 
actually this is what happening. You hear it if somebody plays, you know, in the drum set. Impulse, book, or on the drum also, boom, boom, and depending on the how how good this is damped, it sounds longer, like with the metal parts, or not that long, boom, like in the drums. Second order system impulse response. This is how it looks like. All right. So now we had step response, impulse response now. Next time we're talking about the frequency response. All right. For this time, thank you much for listening. Goodbye.